Hey there, it's Ed Rush with your challenge for the month, which is actually on the screen behind me, but I'm gonna explain what this is as we go. This challenge this month is called the What Do You Want Challenge. You know what? Your mind is like a missile coming off of an F-18 that loves to seek a target. Most entrepreneurs are very unclear about what your target is, but not you. You're gonna get very clear about that this month. By the way, the resource to this month is downloadable, so I'm gonna give you a form that's got two sides. I'm gonna explain what both sides are in just a second, but you can do that at edrush.com slash want, which is about the easiest email uh, web address you'll remember. It's edrush.com slash want. Don't go there just yet. I'm gonna explain uh, this challenge, and then you can go there and go ahead and do it. Now, what I want you to do this month is I want you to get super crystal clear on what you want, okay? So, I want you to sit down, Give yourself some time, maybe 30, 40 minutes, and I want you to sit down with your pad of paper uh, and this, uh, this uh, printed out. Now, this is important because on the top of this thing, it says this is a what question, not a why or a how question. My experience with this exercise, which by the, by the way, I do at my uh, events, which happen about t uh, once uh, every uh, spring and once every fall. So if you wanna come to the event and do this in an immersive environment, this is one of the first things that I do uh, at my event. I want people to really dream and to get an idea of what they want. So it's not a why exercise. Here's why this is so important. You have a conscience. Uh, and that conscience sometimes can be a bigger enemy than you think it is a helper. Because sometimes you'll go like this. What do I want? You know what? I want to make $10 million. Why? Oh man, I'm so greedy. Why would I want? And then all of a sudden it goes away. The second thing is, uh, is you take away how. Here's another one, okay? So for example, at some point in my life, I wanna be worth $1.2 trillion. I asked the question, how? If I was to do that right now, if I was to go, one time in my life, I wanna be worth $1.2 trillion, how? Oh yeah, I can't do that. Literally, your mind will completely shut down. Now the thing about your mind is it's very powerful. So if you give your mind a target and it believes that you can accomplish the target, your mind will typically find a way to accomplish that target. So if you want to make $10 million, or if you wanna make a million dollars, or just another $100,000, or you wanna be able to open an orphanage, or you wanna be able to uh, travel to Africa, or you wanna be able to go to the moon, or something like that, well, your mind will begin working on that as long as it thinks you can do it. But if you start saying how too soon, look, you're gonna say how eventually. I mean, I do a lot of coaching with business owners one-on-one -on -one where I'm working on how, 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 but at first, you don't want to get stuck in what my friend calls how pies. You want to get stuck in what you want. So your job is to sit down and just to make a list of the things that you want. You don't need to be altruistic about this. You don't need to make yourself feel good about it. It doesn't need to be all charitable things. All I want you to do is make a list of what you want because here's the thing. You can be trusted. And if God puts something on your heart, there's probably a reason for it. Right? So if you want to own the tallest building in the downtown Jerusalem, which a friend of mine actually bought the top two stories of the tallest building in downtown Jerusalem, if you want to do that, there's probably a reason for it. And he found out the reason. He found out the reason. It was a place, a gathering place for people of all nations and cultures to come together and pray in one of the holiest cities in the world. If you want to be able to own the biggest building in Chicago, if you want to be able to own property in Montana, if you want to own property in all 50 states, if you want to have a ranch someplace and it's on your heart, there's a reason for that. You can be trusted and you might find out the reason later. So you don't need to ask why and you don't need to ask how. You need to write it down. Now, the second thing that you're going to do is you're going to flip this page over. And on the back page, it's a list of impossible things. And so what I want you to do is I want you to create a list of things that you know you can't do. So on my list, I wrote one of the things I, I wrote was I want to be able to fly like Superman uh, without a cape and without uh, without a use of like an airplane or something like that. And the second thing is I wanted to be instrumental in colonizing a planet. Uh, and the third thing, and then I wrote th another thing, another thing, they were all impossible things. And the rule with the impossible things is if you tell somebody, uh, they have to laugh, okay? So for example, I want to live to be about 150 years old. When I tell people that, they usually, they usually laugh. But you know what? I've got 11 doctors that I work with one-on-one -on -one, that are my clients. And a lot of them are regenerative medicine doctors. And when I say, you know, I want to live to be 140 years old, you know what they say to me? Yeah, let's make that happen. There's people who believe that. And so what happens is when you write this list of impossible things, which is on the back side of this, you do what I call heavy bat dreaming. I'm actually going to write that up here on the screen so you can catch it. It's called heavy bat dreaming. 
And the reason I call it heavy bat dreaming is if you've ever gone to a professional baseball game, you'll see that the players are standing on the on-deck circle and they have a very heavy bat that they're swinging. And while they're swinging this heavy bat, what's happening is the bat's starting to feel really heavy to them so that when they take the donut, which is what it is, off the end of the bat, they go up to the on-deck circle, that bat feels really, really light, okay? And the reason that it feels light isn't because it's lost weight. It's because they were swinging this bat that's, that was very, very heavy and they retrained their muscles to something big. When you start dreaming really big dreams, like for example, when I started to think, I wanna colonize a planet. When I thought that, I actually started thinking, how would I set up a government and what would I set up as far as leadership and how would I uh, have people vote? And, how, and I started thinking about really big things that actually can help us right here in the United States, okay? So what happened was I started dreaming big and I came up with new ideas that can actually work right here uh, on planet Earth. And I want you to start doing this. I want you to throw off all possibility and I want you to dream, 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 dream big. Now, when you do this exercise, what you're going to find is you're going to have a significantly higher level of clarity about yourself and about the things that you want. You're also going to have a lot more focus because when you sit back down at your computer and start checking your email, you're going to realize, you know what? I can focus on this, the thing that I want, instead of some of these minutia things, okay? So you're gonna have a lot more focus and you're gonna have a lot more peace, okay? So this month's exercise is really simple. It's the what do you want exercise. I want you to print that out. I want you to set aside about 45 minutes to an hour to do that this month and I want you to let me know how it went. By the way, if you wanna do this exercise live with us, Every spring, every fall, we typically have a big event uh, that I'd love for you to uh, to come to. Just email us, support at edrush.com. Find out when the next event is. Uh, see what you get as far as a discount. If you're a Miracle member, you almost always do. I'd love to see you there because we're going to probably do this exercise together and some other exercises that are going to get you on the road to accomplishing the mission that you're set out to do right here on planet Earth. All right? I'll talk to you soon.